butterfly effect. It's not just an Ashton Kutcher movie. It's this idea that small events or actions can lead to a large, unpredictable future. You know, it's, it's this idea that any small action we take is not insignificant and leads to a greater whole. So it has this chain reaction where eventually it's kind of like a snowball building, building momentum down a hill, right? And it gets very huge at the end. So with everything that's going on right now with coronavirus, you know, we have a, a pandemic on our hands and everybody's freaking out or a lot of people are freaking out. Not everybody. I'm, I'm trying not to freak out. But, um, but yeah, you know, in a sense, this is the butterfly effect or this is how we can actually use the, this concept of the butterfly effect to create change down the line. Now, a lot of people are going to ignore this and they're going to think that their actions are very insignificant to the, the greater whole, the greater good. But if you apply this, then you realize that you're not so insignificant after all. So the idea of the butterfly effect was actually coined by an American meteorologist named Edward Lorenz. And it was used to study weather patterns and, and predictions and how, you know, slight deviations in predictions could lead to very big um, differences in, in outcome later on and influence outcome later on. So it was originally discussed related to weather, but then it was transferred over to other ideas over time. So, you know, I think that this applies right now very, very, um, very much so because we have a lot of people right now who think that um, their actions don't play any sort of part in like the government or the, on a global scale, but in reality they do. So any small thing that you do or that I do sets off a chain of events, chain of reactions. So you know, with the pandemic that we have going on right now, it's like if if I were to be completely ignorant and I'm going out and I'm, I'm, you know, partying on spring break or whatever that the millennials are doing, it's not actually millennials, it's the Gen Z, whatever comes after that. I'm a millennial, but I'm like, I'm, I'm not going out on spring break. You know, I'm, I'm at the very slight edge of, of millennial. But, um, but yeah, it's the Generation Z, whatever, kids like college break. And they're, they're ignorant to this fact and they, they say, okay, well, if I get this, then so what? You know, it's like a, a respiratory cold, so what? But what, what they don't understand is that, you know, it can lead to a chain of events. So if they expose themselves to somebody else and somebody else exposes to somebody else who has it and then, you know, they go to their grandparents, it, it sets off a chain of reaction. I mean, we all know this and this is why we're practicing social distancing right now and we're self-quarantining ourselves. Um, but it, um, you know, a lot of times we don't think how much impact we as an individual can have. And, um, you know, it's like the shortage of masks right now going in hospitals, shortage of supplies. Um, if somebody, you know, somebody might say, well, you know, I don't, um, you know, I have a box of masks here, but it's not going to matter if I donate because they're going to get donations from all over the place. Well, they might not. I mean, I'm sure they will, but they, your, your donation might be able to save a life down the line. You know, you don't know. It's kind of like, uh, in, um, in a relationship or something. If you didn't go to that foot doctor on that day because you stubbed your toe and you broke your nail, then you might not have met that handsome guy in the waiting room who also happened to be like a dog breeder and you happen to be looking for a dog and you chatted him up and then he actually introduced you to somebody else and who who I don't know happened to be a cousin's friend blah 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 you know you know what I mean I mean when you think back to how you met somebody or how you even got a job or something Sometimes when you look back, it's like, well, if this didn't happen, then it wouldn't have led, you know, it wouldn't have set off a chain of events to have this other thing happen and this other thing happen. And it wouldn't have led me to live in this house or in this location, or it wouldn't have led me to be with this person or it wouldn't have led me to have this job or something like that. So this is exactly the same thing. When you make one small decision, your decision will set off some sort of chain of events and, and it may lead down a path that you have no idea. 
may lead to some future. And the impact will be on a greater, it builds momentum in a sense. So that's why, you know, it's so important right now to social distance ourselves, even though we may think it's stupid or we may think that we're not going to get it or we're not going to spread it to our neighbor who talking to them while we're walking the dog. You don't know though. You don't know that for a fact. And the more that you don't social distance, the more other people don't social distance and the more this stuff lingers. So if you practice it, then your neighbor may practice it and then they'll see other people practicing it. And then it started creates the chain effect where you can finally not have this thing linger around because everybody is cooperating and everybody is um, being having sanity. It's kind of like voting, too. We always think, well, my vote doesn't count. Like, what is it? What does it matter anyway? You know, um, but it does. You are significant. You, you know, if, if you were insignificant then, and everybody else was insignificant, then nothing would get done. Stuff just wouldn't function. So realize you are significant. What you do, your decision, what you choose, the single action that you take makes a difference because it's going to lead to other, other chain of events. So with that being said, practice safe social distancing, you know, go do something fun. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.